Hello lords and ladies, my name is Archaic King, welcome back to Story of Seasons, the let's play you all really want to watch, because <laughs> nobody wants to watch Witcher 3, but that's okay, Story of Seasons is fun. Um, apologize for this video going up later than it usually does, apologize for a video not going up the last time it should have, these are all my pro. <laughs> these are all my fault, uh, <laughs> just, I don't know. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I just, I don't know. I get lazy. Anyways. Ooh, looks like we got some carrots. You know, these don't really look like carrots. These look like those, uh, Halloween, Halloween corn or whatever. That would be funny if that's what it was. Oh, anyways. Today's plan. Well, I thought the roots would might, uh, the roots might be fully grown now, but it looks like they aren't, so we're still not going to be able to build the, um, oh, I don't want the milker out, I want the, I want the old brush out, because I'm trying to get the seed maker, I have the, I have the blueprints for it, oh wow, they are hungry, come on, I have the blueprints for it, I just don't have the turnip seeds, and I've mentioned this before, but some of you have offered to give me, no, come on, to give me uh, some of the turnip seeds and whatnot, but I figured, oh hey, you know, I've already got the roots. I just have to exchange them, and then I can get. Uh... Oh, can I milk? Well, he's bigger now. I wonder if I can milk him, milk her. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, okay. I just don't have the uh, the roots grown yet. If I if I exchange those, then everything will be good. But that's not going to happen yet. <laughs> I don't know when. I don't remember when I planted them. If any of you eagle-eyed viewers could let me know when I planted those roots, I would really be grateful because I, I, I just I really don't remember when I planted those. Also, if you're wondering if I'm going to sell my crops or not, I've been kind of holding off on that because I want to wait for a time when one of the fields are open. Um... Because every time, every time I prepare, I just don't do that well. Uh, I have not won a field yet, and I would really, really like to. Okay. okay is there anything else? No. Okay, let's go ahead and give some of these sweet potatoes some fertilizer so they'll grow back better and better and better and better. All right. You carrots, you keep on growing. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, sorry if I... Sorry if I'm a little, um... Subdued? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's been a while since I actually sat down to... Flat out record anything. Um... So I'm, I'm a little out of it today. I also woke up pretty late. I had a real... I had a really... Decent plan. Um... The plan was to treat recording as if, well, this is technically my job. I don't get paid a lot, but it's my job. And my plan was to just treat it like an eight-hour workday. So my plan was to wake up at six, goof off, eat some breakfast, and then at eight, sit down and record for eight hours, which would have involved uh, recording story seasons, putting it... Uh, Taking a break at, for lunch and uploading it, getting this ready for uploaded, so they would have gone up at four, and maybe record a second one just to make up for the fact that I didn't put one up the uh, previously, uh, and then spend the rest of the day really recording uh, The Witcher Three. Do you know what happened? Well, I don't want to. I don't really blame my sister for this because she, well, no. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you the shorter version. Basically, I didn't get into bed until midnight, midnight or one, and I, j I, I didn't fall asleep until five, four or five in the morning, and that's a, that's terrible. I just laid there, tossing and turning. I, I, I just couldn't. I could not get to sleep. It was horrible. So I had to. I ended up setting my alarm clock back. Um, I ended up setting my alarm clock back from 6 to 9. I woke up at 9 with my alarm clock, and I was, I was, I was beat. 
I couldn't wake up. So I just slept. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna let my body rest as long as it needs to. But eventually my family's like, hey, you know, it's it's two o'clock, maybe you should get up. So I eventually did. <laughs> I know, I know. I should really get better at this. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's my milk? Because I want to give my girl some milk. Hold my milk, girl. Here it is. <laughs> Keep giving her milk. Not going to progress to the next flower until I give her a ring. Because if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. I think that's how that song goes. I really don't know. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see if I can get anything from this. No? Okay. Uh, I could buy some more fertilizer, but I don't really want to. Can I fast? Like, I want to go back to call the horse and go to the trade depot. Why would I do that? Mm, okay. I want to return to the farm. I'm, I love that you guys told me about these fast travel points right here. I wish you had told me about it sooner. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. I don't know if that really applies to the situation, but sure, let's, let's do it. Alright, you get back in here, Epina. I like how I have three cows and a horse, but other people have like... Mm, they might have like two cows and... Um, a sheep and some chickens. Which, I mean, the chickens would need to go into another coop or whatever. But I like how that's what I do. Anyways, the reason I came back to my farm is because I figured I was going to go ahead and make some stuff with the crops. All right, I need to store. I need to put some stuff away. Uh, let me do my. I suppose I can. Well, I can. I can work. I think I can still make stuff. No. Yeah, I can still make stuff. Let me, let me put some of. The, let me put some of my stuff back in here. Oh, these fresh carrots only have a uh, half a star. I thought I had more. Oh well. Actually, I wonder how much I can store in here. Fifty. All right, I'm not even close to that. Okay. Now it should be good. Let's see. Do I don't. Uh, yeah, they don't have to be on me. So I can make carrot soup, milk soup. But seriously, I, I probably brought this up. But milk soup? Who dr who who eats milk soup? Or well, technically, I suppose you're drinking milk soup. Who drinks milk soup? Like I've never heard of that until now. Uh, secret flavoring. I still don't have anything I could do with this. I'm sure if I had another farm, <laughs> another field, and I could plant, like, I don't know, herbs or some crap, but, uh, I can't really do any, I, mean, I can make the sweet potato, or the baked sweet potato, but I can't really do anything else. I can also make some carrot juice, but I can't imagine which one would be worth more. There's some salads right there. I'm imagining carrot soup would probably be the one. Okay. So, yeah, these carrots have a star. I think these are the ones I put fertilizer on, and these are the ones that I are from my house, I think. Also, these are the fresh carrots down here. So, um, let's test it out with these. I want to see how much. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I can check right now. Um, let's see. They should be in here. I'm not sure if I can actually check to see... Where would it be? Cooking? Oh, there's all my milk soups and stuff. Did it go... Is it here? What did I, what did I make? Carrot something? Oh, maybe it went into my bag. That's probably where it did... Yeah, that's where it, yeah, that's probably where it went. 182. Ooh, and it now has uh, one and a half stars. That's nice. Um, let's go. Okay, that was carrot soup, right? Let's try carrot juice now. Let's see. Let's use. Let's, let me just use one fresh carrot. I want to see if carrot juice. I want to see if carrot juice makes more. So let's go ahead and go to. Cooking. Okay, there's carrot soup. Oh, they actually make about the it's same base price and whatnot. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and make some more. Okay, let's just make some uh, carrot soup. Uh, we're gonna make all of our 
one half star. Make that into some carrot soup. But we're not gonna do all of the. We're not gonna do all of the um the one stars. Let's see. Do, 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 do. We're only gonna do like. Wait, do I only have 98? Oh, that's the case. And let's make 97. Or at least not. Oh, let's do 96 instead. Okay. Do I have anything I could actually add to it? Oh, I think I, uh, I think I made it enough where I could add secret flavoring to it. But hold on, let's see. Can I? I don't know what I would add. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and make some milk soup as well. Yeah. Milk soup. Something I've never had before. And then baked sweet potatoes. Of course, we're not going to do all our baked sweet potatoes. Okay, so we're going to do... Well, I mean, we're all we're going to do these, at, uh, at least. Okay, baked sweet potatoes done. There's no space in the bag. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in our fridge, then. Carrot soup. Wow, there is a lot here. 99. Whoa, man. If this isn't prepared, then I don't know what is. Because if, if this, uh, seriously, if this is not prepared, like if I'm not prepared to take over a field, then I, 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 I just give up. Like, no more fields for me or something. I don't know. Okay, let's see. We can make more carrot soup. But I want to make more baked potatoes. Alright. I'm only going to do 54. Alright. Alright, now we're done. Alright, let me go ahead and put in... Let me put these back in there. And yeah, that should be it. We spent most of this video... Yeah, cooking. But hold on, actually, let me look back at my fridge. I just want to see how much all this might cost together. Let me just look at my uh, cooking instead of, like, my vesture or whatnot, because... Like, we're saving, see, we still got, we're saving the onions, we're saving some of the fresh carrots and the fresh sweet potatoes. I don't know why I have the peach there, but whatever. So, man, I'll have to do the math on this later, because I don't know what it would be right now. I mean, if any of you want to actually sit there and do the math, it would be uh, 182 times 99, uh, 6 by 182, 17 times 156, 9 times 368, 89 times 108, and, well, that's simply just 182. So if anyone, if anyone wants to actually do the math in the description or whatever, you're more than welcome to, because I don't like to do math. Actually, I used to like to do math. Not, um, not, like, that kind of, like, just, not super complicated stuff, but I, I don't remember what it was, but, um, I don't remember the name for this type of equation, but... Okay, uh, it was like 2x plus 5 equals a number, and I always used to do those at home on my uh, whiteboard. I had a whiteboard one, uh, once upon a time, and that is essentially what I would do, and I know it sounds nerdy, but I wasn't really doing it because, oh my god, I love math, but it, I just I just like doing those types of equations. It made me feel smirked. It made me feel so smirked. But, yeah, that's essentially what I like to do. I haven't really done it in a while because I don't actually have a... I used to have a whiteboard on my closet door and now it's gone. I think my sister took it. Yeah, probably. It, it, it sucks that she took it then. There was a Kingdom Hearts poster underneath it. Yeah, it was back... The Kingdom Hearts poster. Back when I actually bought gaming magazines from Walmart and made, you know, and took the posters out of those. I don't do that anymore because I have the internet. Why, why would I buy a magazine? Now that's a little bit sad because you could also use that argument for like, why would you want to read a, a physical book? You could just read it on a Kindle or you could read it on the internet. Well, I, I like the paper. I like feeling the paper underneath my fingers, you know? I, I don't know if that sounds weird or not, but I, it, I prefer it. I prefer it to actual Kindle. I mean, a Kindle would be nice. Like, if uh, the ideal situation for me would be to have an actual physical library of books that I have on my shelf or whatever, but then also have those books 
on my Kindle, or if I had a Kindle, on my Kindle. Uh, and I would keep, you know, it would, if I ever needed to go on a trip or something, I wouldn't need to take the books with me. I could just take the Kindle with me. So, you know, if I'm somewhere else and I didn't want to take the book with me, I could just read it on the Kindle. And that's, a, that's probably what I would do. <laughs> um, uh, would I, I also read comic books, uh, now that we're speaking of books. Um, I used to buy them the, the floppies, which is what comic book people call, like, the single issues or whatever. And I used to have those, and I ended up collecting, like, several binders filled with comic books. Most of them are usually, like, Amazing Spider-Man, because, like, the world could end and I would still be reading Amazing Spider-Man. But, uh, eventually, I, I had to switch over to digital. Uh, I use a site called Comixology.com, where I buy comics. It's not my preferred, like, I like it because it's, it's, it's the novelty of it, you know? Because, you know, I don't have to, like, squint at a page or something. I can have it, like, zoomed in and it's like, I click a button and it switches right over to the next panel. And that's kind of, like, fun, I guess. Ooh, these are, these are back. But, I mean, if, if I ever had a decent size of money... Oh, that's not how I should have said that. If I had a lot of money, I would probably spend most of my time buying physical copies. But there's just something, like, you get them immediately. Like, if I go to Comixology.com and buy the newest Amazing Spider-Man comic book, I would get it, um, I would get it immediately. And I could read it right then, instead of having to wait, like, a week or two. Maybe, I think, maybe more like a week, a week or two. Um, and that's, that's fun. But I mean, nothing beats actually reading a comic book with you know in your hands, having that in your hand, and having that t you know that feedback from flipping the pa uh, the pages. It's nothing. Nothing is quite like that. It's really fun. It's not the same as clicking next, uh, the next button on a uh, a digital reader or something. It's it's not the same. And you know, one day maybe if I ever li really live near a comic book shop, that is probably what I will be doing. But until then, <laughs> it's not going to happen. <sighs> Plus, it does free up a lot of space. But the downside is my comic books, they're safe. Like, I mean, unless my house burns down. But the chances of my house burning down is pretty slim compared to losing access to digital comic books. Because, you know, it's more likely for my laptop to just go haywire and just throw out tons of crap. I should have been checking to see if the fields were available. It, you know, it's more likely that's going to happen, that my computer just like go, go you know, blue screens and I lose access to everything than for my house to burn down and me lose all my physical comic books. Uh, because, and that that's actually happened. Well, not my house burning down or my computer going haywire and making me lose comic books. I had a, um, I had an old account on Comixology, but they decided to up their security, and so they were asking everybody to change their passwords. Well, guess what happened? They wouldn't let me change my password, or, you know, something weird happened, and it was just, like, I couldn't change it. It wouldn't accept it. I couldn't log in any or anything anymore. So, I lost hundreds, like, I I'm talking hundreds of dollars of comic books. I didn't have, like, a hundreds of comic books, but comic book reading is a quite expensive hobby, you know? You're lucky to read a comic book that's like $2.99, more like $3.99 mostly, and I lost them all. Like, my entire, I had, oh god, I had quite a bit of Amazing Spider-Man, I had, um, I had a lot, like an entire run of Ultimate Spider-Man, I just, I lost a lot of comic books, and that was a lot of money down the drain. I, I, I have a new comicsology account now and I'm just hoping that that never actually <laughs> I'm hoping that I never lose access to that because then I would lose well still hundreds of dollars of comic books you know that's why ultimately if I have the choice like one of the like I said one of the reasons why I do still read the digital comic books is because they already pet I don't know if I already did that uh, is because you get them immediately it you know Boom, you don't have to wait like a week or something for your comic book shop to send it to you. I say that because I don't live near any comic book shop, so I actually do have to wait for them to send it to me. 
and it cost it would in the, uh, incidentally it would cost more you know my back is full what what the heck it is really what do I have on me oh oh I forgot I picked all this crap up I'm gonna have to get a new bag holy crap okay I gotta go put this in my well that's never happened before uh, I'm gonna have to go put this stuff in my fridge real quick. Okay, go in there. Alright. Now let's go get the milk. I like how my first worry is, my, my, well, my second worry was, Oh god, I hope it doesn't despawn. Like, what game am I playing? I'm playing Harvest Moon. Or Story of Season. Ha! Slip. That Freudian slip. Yeah, yeah, this is Harvest Moon. Not, not Tsumei's Harvest Moon, which makes it that much better. Well, we hit the 20 minute mark. I'm probably going to go a little bit over. My, uh, <laughs> my 3DS is, um, is, it, it turned red a few minutes, a couple of minutes ago, and I'm worried that it's going to die. But I mean, it would be a lousy battery if it turns red and then dies free, like, almost immediately afterwards. Okay, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. No, I don't actually like sweet potatoes. I don't really like potatoes. I mean, I like mashed potatoes, and I like... Actually, is that all I like? Mashed potatoes? Well, I like other types of potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. Okay. 27. I got 27 for that. Alright. Time to put my fertilizer on them. Now, like, I, I think I mentioned this in the previous video, but, like, if I'm fertilizing these for nothing, I'm gonna blame you guys. Because you're sitting there watching me play this for, like, 20 minutes. And if you haven't told me I'm doing something stupid, mm -mm. they have no forgiveness for that. They have no forgiveness. I think I'll probably buy more, more fertilizer or see what they have at the shop. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to go to the, um, the guild and just see what fields are available. I don't know why I didn't do that yesterday. But back to the blaming you guys things. Also, I don't know why I didn't fast travel here is because no one told me that I could use the signs or whatever to travel around and I spent most of my time just running and you guys didn't tell me any of that we could have saved so much precious time so much you guys not telling me stuff mm, I don't think you guys are terrible Carrot seeds. Should I buy more carrot seeds? Uh, maybe. I don't know why. I, oh, I was gonna buy fertilizer. How much? Oh no! No, I was not gonna buy fertilizer. I do not have that much gold left. I am poor. I am poor. You know, realistically, realistically, one gold piece would probably be worth so much back then, you know, it would, there'd be no chance that I would have this much gold. Okay, hello Veronica, I just want you to rent a public field, or I want to see what ones are coming available. Oh, this one's available right freaking now. Mmm, I see, I see. What field is this? This is the, this is the honey one. Uh, mushroom and honey, and everybody can cope with mushrooms and honey. It's not really at the top of my list of fields that I certainly want, but the rest of them don't come available, for, like, let's see, the the earliest one is uh, this one down here, oh, no, go down, go, go down, uh, which is Weepy Crops. Ooh, um, I, I've poised this question so many times, but yeah, this is, the next video or so, we are preparing to take one of these fields. We will take them. We will take them by storm. We will take all the crops. And the women too. But like, no seriously, which crop should I, uh, which field should I go for? Like, which one do you, I really feel, like, which one would I really need for fall slash winter? Like, for you, those of you who are ahead, it would really help me. Like, I can't, uh, I mean, I could go for the mushroom and honey one, but I'm at, eh, it's not at the top of my list. The one that I would really want would probably be like the tall crops or something or uh, spices, so I can put that in my food. I think that would give me more gold, I think. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe this one, what's this one? Wheat and other grains that, you know, I can make bread. Anyways, I don't know. 
uh, I'll just hold off here and I won't make another video. So you guys, you have a few days, really, to let me guys know, to let me guys know, to let me g know which feel I should really go for. Because you guys, most of you guys have gotten to fall and winter and are in gear too. So it, it, you guys have insight. You guys have foresight. So let me guys, uh, let me guys, oh my god, I can't talk today. <sighs> let me know what field I should go for. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make a, a please leave a like or a comment. I can't talk today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description. And I don't know. Shout out to my Witcher 3 Let's Play. Please go check that out. Um, yeah, that's it. Take care.